Good evening, everybody. Are we all right? Okay, so I have just got a few people I've got to tag because obviously Facebook is still paying the silly devil evening, with regards to notifications and things. So let's just. I better turn my tones off my phone. Yeah. Nope, it's not letting me tag. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, yo Sammy, hi Mandy. If anyone is a friend or can tag Muriel Corliss, could you do that please? Because she keeps missing me and she was asking. Um, there she is. Right, fabulous. Right. So here we go. Just finding, trying to find somewhere to put my phone at the minute. How are we all? Happy Tuesday. I nearly said happy Wednesday. Whilst I'm about to say how quickly the weeks are going. Doesn't need my help, does it? <laughs> are we alright? Have we been crafting this week yet? I'm quite zoomed out this week so you can see the stack of ink pads that I just keep and haven't put away. But that's alright. That's okay, that's okay. Um, are we having a good week so far? It's a bit early on to tell really, isn't it? But that's alright. Okay, now there isn't much of a plan this evening. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. The plan is this journal, and that is the beginning and end of the plan. All right. So if there is anything in particular you would like to see me use in this journal, um, or whatever, now's the time to bring it up, um, because we will do that. But I've had so many requests. I've showed you this journal. Um, I want to say once or twice, not very many times, um, because in all honesty it's uh it's it's a fantastic thing to, if you need if you need a jump start so it's not something i've ever had for myself but lots of people have been asking can i show you how to use it and how to do that so basically i thought you know what i'll just i'll just have to have one then won't i i'll just have to have one to show you um so this is the dilutions jump start journal and this is a fantastic journal if a lot of the time the blank page um, is just seems too much for you and you don't always know where to start um, when it comes to putting backgrounds together and things like that. Okay, it has the same brilliant chip board cover but with a slightly different pattern as the other Dilutions journal. Okay, you still have your pocket envelope on the inside here to put any extra little bits in, which is great if you have limited uh, crafting space as well. Um, so it has this lovely big chipboard cover as well, but this, that is sort of where it ends. So there are 56 pages, okay, for working on. Um, so for example, that's one, two, so on and so forth. But the thing in this journal is half of those pages, I think it's exactly half, yeah, have something on them okay so if you don't know where to start if you like to have something to give you a bit of a bit of a leaping off point whether that is you know at least with a color you know at least you've got a color to start working with just a bit of doodling that you want to maybe add some more doodling into or color in with you know something quite basic just a bit of this. It's something that's got a bit more stencil and a bit more hand drawn and all this sort of thing. There is lots and lots to play with, okay? Lots of different things. But what you also have is you also have the plain sides, okay? So what you can do is you can use these as a leaping off point and then maybe have a go trying to recreate or do something similar. Or just use that bit of inspiration over here. Okay? So you can see some of it is lots of colour and some of it is just 
doodled in okay and it just like i say it just if you are they're not very what's the word they're not really overpowering okay they're nice basic shapes that you can recreate you know that one that one's got quite a lot on it so if you just wanted to add on for example some journaling girls a little bit of that that one's lovely you know this one because it's got this lovely border around the edge it's giving you a smaller page to start with if you want to but as you can see there is lots and lots you know this one's a bit plainer but it's putting two colors together you might not have thought of before all right so you can just see where to begin see that's good for this journal because it's just giving you a place where to begin so i just wanted to give you a flick through we might as well go through all of it we're you know we're well over halfway all right so the whole thing is you have all of these beautiful pages to give you these leaping off points and you can pick where you want to start you can really sort of have a bit of fun with it this one i really like okay So we're just going to keep going through we're nearly at the end there see that's a lovely sort of gray base that's great if you wanted to have a go at a completely monochrome one All right and not forgetting of course you can rip these pages out you can play with them you can use them for atcs you could use them for other things you could sort of rip out this page and rip it into strips to do other ones okay this is a nice one and i think this would give you Lots of room to add on to that doodle bit. Some torn paper in there. All right. So, and what I think is nice is a lot of the pages as well, you can really see where Diane's used paint to create them and some of them where she's used more of a spray ink effect. Okay. So there's lots and lots to go with. That's a beautiful one. Two. We're nearly at the end now. All right. So you can see all of that inspiration just to get you started. And it's one of those things I always start, nearly always, aside if I use waste paper, start my pages from scratch, which is why this um, journal wasn't wasn't actually on my on my go list but i know it's a it's one that a lot of you are like yeah but it could be good for me because i don't know where to start and whatever so that's why we're gonna have a go okay because you can really use i think the, the problem is with the jump start as well a lot of time people think well i need to be using um dilutions products or dilution stamps or dilutions templates or some some things with it and absolutely not really really no so now I have to say, now you're presented with another problem though. Which one do we start with? I don't know. I honestly don't know. See, I see something like, oh, where was that really, really busy one? See, something like that, in all honesty, I would just. I forgot. Where's my little. Packet of journaling girls. Oh, she's vanished. I'd probably just used a black and white journaling girl. Just put her on there. Done, you know, and, this, and a few sentiments. Really, really pretty. I don't know how to pick the first one. I love the blue and purpley page as well. Quite like that. Like I say, these, these pages are halfway through and I'm, I'm, I've am i got to be honest, that's where I'm going to struggle. Because I wasn't there for the initial bit. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's good with a hand on, on it, isn't it? Alrighty, her. Uh, yeah, absolutely could use it for collage and something. That's what I was saying. You can rip these out and then use it in strips like I did with... Oh, I've created a barricade again. I can't get to my journal bag. Um, I think I'm going to go. Shall I start? Shall I start in the beginning or shall I start in the middle? I don't really 
really know. Right, should we go with where to begin? There's quite a lot on this page, so this is going to be a challenge for me. Ch Les challenge, okay? Very challenging. So, like I say, I haven't prepped anything to go with it because I didn't know which page I would be picking. So you're just it's going to be a sort of roll with the punches sort of a do. I'm just pausing for thoughts. You know when they say let's pause for thought. Oh, in other news, the Bee Crafty Stamping Tissue has been added to the website today. I know lots of you have already found it, along with the stamp and stencil tape. Okay, because we've got the stamping tissue and the stamp and stencil tape. So do you know what? Let's start with some stamp and stencil tape because it's really, really cool. So I think I'm going to go with the super duper wide one. Okay, now what I do with this, I've been playing, this is actually my second roll because I've been playing with it. So this is one of our brown non-stick craft sheets stuck to a board, okay? I absolutely love this for heating on and things like that. Sticking pre-made things to it if I'm batch making. Wicked, right? But what it's also good for is if you take your stamp and stencil tape and stick it to there. Okay, and then we're just going to rip it. Okay, it's then stuck down. Abs, did you just throw something at me? No. A ruler just threw itself at me. It's okay. Okay, so the stamp and stencil tape. So I'm going to get some, I think what will be easiest to go in here is some of the Doodle Art Mandalas. So I'm going to get some of those and some of the small set of Super Skinny Slims. What have I used to stick the mat to the board? I have to say, these mats were made pre my adoration of collage medium. So I don't know if that would work. So this was made, you can probably see the lines, with double sided sticky tape. Can you sort of see the indents there? Sort of like a really heavy duty, yeah you can. Um, so like there's one on each edge and then two down there. It was a shelf from um, a, a display we had in the shop, I'm absolutely sure. So it's a really good rigid surface if you're heating on, um, which I like. I like it a lot. So let's get my doodle arts out here. All right. And then we're going to use some of these. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go with, let's mix it up and just go with mandalas number two because I think this is going to enable us to open some of these up because what's nice about mandalas too there's lots of open sections so these are really good for frames and things like that or if you want to add in a bit of extra color so i'm going to go for this is the second square in the smaller super skinny slim set easy for me to say i know right so i'll take that and we're going to stamp in oxide so we've got blues yellows and greens so we'll start with the green alrighty and we're gonna add in a couple of these Ooh. And, then, and some black obviously okay fab and then we're going to go for Let's go for the bigger ones, actually, because then you can work the smaller ones in around, can't you? That slim's not going to be big enough, though. So we'll go to these ones. I still can't find my prize ribbon, you know. I don't know where I've put it. So we'll go with Blueprint Sketch. And I know you. somebody might well be thinking, well, she said she hadn't prepped, and those ink pads were on top. That is more luck than judgment. And if you're here often, you'll know that. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this mandala right in there. Obviously, you could also stamp these in black and then colour them in. You know, do some inky blending. 
So it's really cool for that. All right. And then I'm going to take... I'm actually going to use... I think I'm going to do this one with black. I'm going to stamp that with my Versifying Claire black. And I was tidying up today. So gold on the nose. Where I've put it. Oh, it's there behind my phone. Here we go. So I'll we'll ink that up. So it's sort of like making your own version of washi, okay? But the beauty of it is you can make it much wider because this is a wider tape, okay? And then you can also Ooh, interesting. I'm just going to wipe off the excess. Oh, I meant to heat it before I did that, so I didn't wipe the tape. Silly sausage. So we're going to ink that up, pretend I didn't smudge it. Um, I will say, and then actually we'll just peel that off, so I can show it to you a bit better, because obviously the problem with that is it is a brown backing, and then we can go onto there, and I'm, as you can see I've done it a little bit longer. We're going to, so I'm just going to use that on there, and then we'll snip off the excess. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So I will say the um, Dilutions journals um, are really good if you're starting out. And the reason I always say this, whether it's a jump start or another one, and the reason I always say this is because it's really smooth cardstock, so it's really easy to stamp on, okay? Your Dina Wakely journals, whilst awesome, and obviously we adore them, and that's what you see me use a lot of the time, um, but they're not easy to stamp on, which is why we use stamping tissue or collage paper or something like that. Um, but the, the Dina, and I'll sh uh, the Dilution, sorry, are much easier to stamp on so there you go so we've created that border with the stamp and stencil tape okay but i'll show you just let's just ink this up again but this you do get i think we'll put this one in here because it's such a smooth Cardstock is so easy to stamp on, you get a really good image. Okay, so it's one of those things. Don't you don't have to be worried about stamping directly onto your Jumpstart journal. Um, but I was just wanting to show you that the the stamp and stencil tape was now in as well. I've been playing with it making cards, but typically I've lost them. So I'm just going to heat set that so I don't run my arm through it. Okay. So here is. So basically, and this is where you just start bringing in your Be Crafty stamps, other stamps you have into your thing. So I'm going to go and grab now my 6x6 six six inkables, okay? And in fact, we might be better with some dinkables because then we can add in some more texture paste. So if I get, what was this one, dinkable set 8 and um oh uh yeah and dinkable set 10 because i like the arrows 
Okay. You can take, so I'll use eight for now. All right. And you can start building over the top. The important thing, okay, to remember is even if it's a pre-prepared background in your jumpstart journal, don't fall in love with the background. Start with one you like, but you you have to remember it's a leaping off point. It's somewhere to go. It's not. Which do you know what I mean? Same rules apply as in terms of falling in love with your background. Alrighty. So I'm going to take this one from your Dinkable set eight. Now the fantastic thing about your Dinkables, um, your Inkable Dinkables, is that they are. It's, a, it's 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 mainly a reduced pattern, so it gives you an opportunity to put really small detail in. Okay, you have arrow stamps in the journaling girl Simon Bev set. Exactly, you have that's the exact thing these are based on. These were designed to go with those al um, stamps alley. So it's number ten, Dinkable set ten. All of these are based on the stamps in the Simon Bev journaling girl sets. Okay. So I'm using the matte distress texture paste, okay? And we're just gonna go and smooth this out. We're not going all the way to the edge, that's not what we're after, okay? And we're just adding in. But we do need it to be smooth. More. So this is becoming a very sort of vertical striped sort of a number, isn't it? With a distressed texture paste. Can you see that okay? I just want to check. All right. And then I'm going to go to... these arrows and I'm going to put in I'm going to work with the center arrow I think primarily work that down there And then I'm going to put another one coming down up here. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. And then you've got that one up there. Right, let me just scrape as much as I can off my dinkable. I've got a little mug of water here so I'm just gonna dunk them in that for now. And put the lid tight there. Oh there was an angry face. What did I do? I mean I didn't do anything so if you're angry I'm really sorry. Be as angry as you like. <clears throat> okay Evening, Bex. Um, are you poking your tongue out too, Beach? No, in fairness, I don't really do that when I concentrate. I just hold my breath. And then I sound exhausted afterwards because, you know, you start hyperventilating. <laughs> you know, I can't do anything about that, can I? Um, okay, so Sam likes to do this on... Um, Chit Chat Friday, doesn't she? She likes to read the instructions for you. So Distress Texture Paste. Um, Distress Texture Paste Matte is an opaque medium ideal for creating dimensional effects on surfaces. Used with stencils for refined texture or apply flee freely with a palette knife. And you can colorize wet or dry using a variety of distress products. Free tip, they don't have to be distress products. Um, just saying. Uh, because... <laughs> I colour them. These are, I have to say, it's brilliant for colouring um, with your reinkers, 
great dilution sprays. You know, you can even mix a bit of your dilutions paint. Um, oxide sprays, spray stains, all of those things you can tint your texture paste with. But the whole point is you can do that before or after. Okay? It doesn't have to be done. Does it say adult use only? Yes, it does. Um, but that, that can be done before or after. So you can do that wet or you can add in colour once it's dry. Either or is good for you. Or it. You know, sometimes I think we overthink things. And well, I know I do. Right, so let me put that over here. Okay. Let me just lift this up just in case. So you can see where we've added in all that sort of grid texture down there. And we've gone over that doodle art mandala. Okay. And then we've got those arrows on there. So that's just adding more, isn't it? And that's what we like. Right, so I'm going to go for, because Ali brought it up, I'm going to say it's her fault. But it's not her fault as such. I'm going to get the journaling girls and get those arrows that Ali was talking about because I think that's going to work great. So if we go to... <laughs> this stamp set here which is the journaling girls arrow so you'll find this in the sam and bev bundle or of course you can get it individually um and you can see there is lots of arrows on here but this is the one that we turned into an inkable okay so they're not the same size okay and you know you've got two other arrows on there as well so i'm thinking what we do is we, we stamp these in a bit more and just create more of those inside the page okay but i will keep the arrows going the same direction as the two i've used in texture paste so what do we do we do not turn ourselves in and out trying to sort that out what we're going to do is we're going to turn our jumpstart journal around this way and then it's nice and easy to stamp our arrows okay this is what we do for fun boys and girls so we do not make it more difficult for ourselves than it needs to be which i'm sorry if it sounds i always worry i sound patronized when i say those things but it honestly you know to hear people say well i've watched people on youtube and they didn't have to turn it around well that's fantastic for them congratulations i turn it around because it's easier and that's it do you know what I mean? So here we go. We're going to ink up this one first. So this is the heart one that goes up and down here there. <clears throat> and I'm going to go sort of over the edge of the stamp and stencil tape. Sort of like a half on, half off. two of those then I'm going to swap over and I'm going to use this one so this one had the heart at the, at the end that end I do know the ends of arrows by the way but it's gone out of my head um, in this bit in this one uses the arrow for the point okay So again, we're just going to ink that up. And this, this texture paste, is on the road to very nearly dry. So we'll do a half on, half on here. And then I think we have to use the little one that sort that matches the template, but not in size. Yeah. And I think that it's it's almost highlighting, but I think what it showed with this was how good it does go into the background. 
So if you want to, and I think that means you then have the choice of whether you highlight it, pick it out or not, which is good. And then we're going to go on to this arrow here, which is the one with the star. I've got something on my stamp. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the good thing about a lot of these arrows as well, okay, is you can bend them around to a certain point. Okay, so th and that gives you a bit more flexibility with how you stamp them onto your project, which is great. But if you do want them straight and you think, I can't get it straight, the easiest thing to do is put it face down, and then pick it up with your super skinny, super skinny slim and that's it straight, or light against one of your lines if you've got a green mat, something like that. Can you use a heat gun to dry the distressed texture paste? Absolutely. But as I'm working around it, I was just like, oh, I'll leave it. Now, I probably should have because I've caught the end of that arrow. But as I'm working around it anyway, I haven't. But I probably will give it a quick schwiz. Shaz has warned the bank manager about Friday. All I'm saying is, you are wise. There's going to be some nice little, nice little dealios. Um coming to the uh, for our spring sale on friday all i will say is though just to reassure people um we don't have the newest releases in the sale because we think that is just a bit rubbish you know getting people to buy the new product and then oh yeah it's on sale a few weeks later so we don't do that okay so so for example the new faces and the new big ones will definitely not be in the sale okay so no one can say they weren't told. And no one can be offended either if you did buy the new stamps, which of course we very much appreciate. Um, so hang on, just while I'm giving this a quick waft, and it's mainly the Versifying Claire. I'm wafting. So your stamps, uh, I've lost my words, I've been awful all day. And trust me, see when you stop taking the end of line, that wasn't easy. Sammy had to work very hard. Um, the stamp and stencil tape, it comes in two whips. We've got the 22 mil here, and that's a 25 meter roll. And then we've got the 45 mil here, and that's a 20 meter roll. So there is loads of it as well. So it's really good. Now, if I was covering something, or if I feel, if I'm layering up lots, um, I will use collage medium underneath as well. Um, but that's just because it's a belt and braces thing. As you can see, it sticks. But it's also a really good, you know, you can stencil onto it. For example, let me get my board back. This is going to be a bit of a digression one this evening, I feel. But don't worry. I will get to the end of my page. See, because it's Jumpstart, a lot of the work's done for me. So it's absolutely fine. So let me just quickly give that a wipe down. In my painty towel. Does everybody have a painty towel? I can't believe how many wipes I used to use. It's sort of it's it's an embarrassing thing for me. Really. But now I just sacrifice a towel. And it's fine. Okay, so I'll put that on my board. Okay. Hi Jane! Hi Annie! looking good i bet thank you very much you too my beautiful lady did you see did anybody see Anne? Anne has started teaching little workshops up near where she is and that's and because it's far away from me that's the only reason sam and i haven't gate, cr gate crashed there was actually a plan and then we realized how far away she was so we just couldn't get there in time and they are awesome and she's been using loads of fab products and she's been making these gorgeous cards and teaching people how to as well so i believe it's silsden and um, the hive at silsden and he's been teaching card making workshops so there you go check them out there you are right sorry i digress again <laughs> Right, I'm just going to grab my alternate circles. Now, I can't lie, I think the, you might see more of the um, alternate circles. Now, I keep all of my 6x6 inkables in here in alphabetical order. Obviously, it's the one at the front. So, there could be a lot of alternate circles in our future. 
so let's just grab because these are the colors we're working on so say right you think right i've got this page and i'd love to make a coordinating washi okay so i i think the big one's going to be the one i use most the 40 it is sills done um the 45 because i think it's just because i'm able to make such a bigger washi right so if i take i'm going to go with my lucky clover first no one well, that's a daft idea go with your palest color first you crazy lady right so we'll go with the mustard seed and we're gonna go onto here and this is a repeating pattern so i'm gonna do the yellow circles all the way down with our mustard seed okay now i have more than one alternate circles so i'm actually going to take that away so i can spritz that and use it on a page all righty and then so you see our lovely yellow dotted tape that we can use however we're not gonna not right away anyway we're gonna take our lucky clover and we're gonna offset And we're going to add in some green. How cool is that? And then we're going to give that a quick wipe off of that painty thing because you just, you know, I can't use a third one without looking rather awful. And then. We'll go to, I've really got a farmer prize ribbon. I'm missing it. Then we're going to add in a bit of blue. What's showing off? The fact I've got two. I know. I think it shows off how, un un how unorganised I am. Unorganised, disorganised. I'm not really sure that's the relevant point, but you know. Okay. So now you have... A super spotty dotty washy okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my plastic nib micron now in fairness you can get um your microns on the be crafty website individually you can get them in sets you can get the plastic nibs you can get green ones and pink ones and whatever and we're just going to add in random <laughs> this is so much fun I've decided making these making pattern tape is now going to be my new hobby <laughs> you have two wilted violet distressing I have two wilted violet oxides right there we're West Midlands too right so and then I'm going to peel this off and I have to peel it off to show you because I, you just can't see it properly on the brown board it's the best thing to do it on not necessarily the best thing for you guys to see okay so then you can make sort of like a coordinating washi to go on this page again do you know what i'm just going to use my laminated stamp back in and now it's on the ivory card you can see it much better can't you Okay, so you can use this stamping stencil washi for stamping on, stenciling on, but it also will hold your stencils down because as you see it lifts off. That's good, isn't it? Okay, stamp and stencil tape. I tell you, it's a wave to the future.
Okay. I'm going to add a couple more things to this jump start page. And in fairness, I think it will be done because it doesn't need that much, does it? So I'm going to go for... Oh, here's my girls. Where's that page we were looking at earlier? And I said it would only need a girl. Um, this is actually, this book is turning out to be much more me than I thought it was, which is a good sign. Now I have one. Sam's going to want one too now and she can't have one. because I'll, Yeah, there it is. Okay, she, but she can't because it's mine. So you could have, I think I've only got some winter girls made up. If you look at Bev and her black and white there, and you could have just like some big sentiments going across the middle. Or this would be a really good one to rip out and chop up bits of. Okay. Or, you know, you put her in there and add a load. It's brand brand new, Janie, the stamp and stencil tape. You've got a four and they're all different sizes to fit into spaces. For what? What have I missed? Anyway, we'll come back to mother in a bit. Lawn to herself. I could share it. No, I couldn't. I appreciate what you were saying there, Sue, but no. I could share. No. Because I share things with Sam. Oh, ink pad shells. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. I win. Um... And I actually need two more. <laughs> okay, so I was looking for... There we go. The new faces. Because we're going to use two more stamps on this page. Alrighty. And then, so we're going to go with... Scene because I love scene, they are beautiful, um, and I'm going to use some small words just to add in a touch more small text, so I'm going to do that freehand, okay, but I'm going to do that after scene is done, okay, because scene is going to go on to, I'm going to rip the right size piece off, a piece of the new stamping tissue okay he's going to cut some before the weekend i shall message you i do i need at least another one because i think that's all that will fit with the room i've got left on my desk um so we're going to go with scene i love scene but i have to say i think this would be a prime example of go put the acetate on i mean that's beautiful isn't it use your acetate that is that's a worker okay now the good thing about using collage paper or the be crafty stamping tissue is you can invert oh i can't show me shelves at the minute they're in a terrible state well i could i suppose it's not really a secret that my craft room is not um part of a show home experience <laughs> abby are you at your laptop yeah put your light on darling don't sit in the dark. Sorry about that. Um, and then we're going to put scene on here. So sorry, I, I can't remember. I know Sabby was sat in the dark and I lost my chain of thought. So just bear with me a second. Um, your stamping tissue or your collage paper, whichever you have and you're choosing to use. The great thing about it is, is it means you can invert your stamps. OK, because you can stamp on one side, but when you're sticking it down with your collage medium, you can show the other because you can just turn it over and do it the other way. So it, it opens that up for you, which I think is really, really cool. Um, which we like. That made you lol. What made you lol? I'm glad you lolled. OK show home experience uh honest to honest 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 to anybody that needs to be honest to 
my house genu generally resembles um, like we're halfway through a game of Jumanji and I'm losing. That's the best way I can think to put it. I am losing Jumanji. So, I'm just going to give that a little heat set, okay? Because then when we throw all the collage medium at it, it shall hopefully not run or move. Okay, so this is scene. And now what I love about scene is how, like I say, the for me, the face sort of changes slightly if you invert it. So that's what I mean by inverting it, okay? So we've stamped it on this side. All right? But it will still show beautifully if you turn it over. So it can just give you a sort of different look. And Dream, as well, is a classic example of how you can almost change your expression by rotating it. All right. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some of my absolutely gross paint water. I'm going to go around scene and it's just to give a slightly more. I usually just chop. Um, but not all the time. Because, you know, I'd hate to become predictable as much as anything. Um, so we're just going to take scene out here and just soften these edges slightly okay oh so as i gave you the sort of blurb on the tape i suppose i should get you on the stamping tissue okay so the stamping tissue it is you get three sheets that are mahoosive but they're all folded up um but the folds we have made sure aren't yay um you can still fit one of these but saying that once you've collage papered out it's fine um yeah but you still can fit a big stamp on it it is not as heavyweight as collage paper so if you think you're getting dina wakely collage paper but cheaper you're not because it's not quite as weighty but what it is it's heavier than tissue paper you can you know you can just buy so what what we wanted is we wanted sort of like a halfway point something that was slightly weightier that didn't rip as easily okay um but we could we could we could get in bigger sheets and, and more of the than so that's where the stamping tissue came from so give it a go see what you think um right so collage medium See, the thing with this is it's got where to begin. So we don't really need to worry too much about a sentiment of our own. We can just decide where a scene is going. I'm think, I think it has to be somewhere in the middle. I mean, we could always do a half face. You know, we're fans of the half face, aren't we? Right. Okay, so I've got my distress collage medium. Caroline, watch me from the hospital. Oh, that kid. Right, so I'm just going to put my collage medium on. Yeah, because for me, um, I go through that much. The collage paper from Dina Wakely isn't always um, possible economically. I think you, hopefully you guys will understand that. Um, but you know how much paint and ink and stuff I throw at things, so it's got to be relatively durable. Um, so it was just so the aim of the game was to find a happy medium, which I think this is. Now you see how that feathered edge now just disappears into the page. Now, like I say. A Dilusions journal, the cardstock is much smoother, it's easy to stamp on, you know, it's but the advantage of using um stamping tissue or collage paper, like I say, well, you know, we if you if you if you come to us and go, do you know what? No, I like 
I just tried to wipe some collage medium then and I made it wrong. Um, no, no, I like using Dina Waker collage paper. Then that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to... Um, this is just an option thing. Right? But yeah, sorry. So if you use stamp using collage paper or, or, or the stamping tissue, it just means as well you can have a play with placement, which I think, again, I think opens up some options for you. Okay. So I'm just going to give that a little waft. Now bear in mind, this is matte medium as well, so it won't dry shiny. So in fairness, you will barely even know that I use tissue at all. Also, obviously I was going over the edge of tape, and sometimes that can leave you a gap, can't it? Whereas using your stamping tissue, you know it's going to go over everything. You know, if you'd have wanted to go over the texture paste, you could have just patted gently in with your brush, and it would have gone in. So that's the joy. Right, now I'm going to take my small words. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to have, you're going to laugh at me here, I'm just going to have a little tidy up, make sure they're all straight on their thing. I mean, not like to the point where I'm going to take them all off, you know. Let's not get carried away. Just generally in their straight lines where they should be. That one's upside down. See, that would have driven me nuts if I'd have noticed it after. I don't mind things being upside down, but it's one of those if I didn't know. Okay. And then I don't know whether to go in with blueprint sketch or the black. Do you know what? I'm going to go in with blueprint sketch, and then if it's not enough, I'll go in with the black because it's more difficult to do the other way around, isn't it? So I'm not going to take this off the acetate. I'm just going to ink it up. And I'm going to go in here. You see, it does stamp on top of the texture paste as well. I'm going to go on here. And lift that off. See, so it's adding more. here I think the blue was right I do think the blue was right okay and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna find A little sentiment because I think one of Sam's handwritten words too is going to go with the where to begin where to begin oh there we go oh it just ran away do 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 right bear with because I'm going to have to take them all out because it ran away There you go, that's where to begin. So that's on Sam's handwritten sentiments too. Where to begin? Take your dream seriously. Now that sounds like good advice to me. So. And there is seen. Okay, so it's a little bit better further up, isn't it? Okay, and that's how you use your jumpstart journal as a leafing off point, or if you just can't focus on on anything for more than three minutes, like I can. <laughs> okay. So, just a few things before you all run off. 
Okay, the, the spring sale starts on Friday. Okay, Sam and I have uh, already been working on the offers and we've been stock taking the end of line. Okay, um, so that all the numbers are correct in there. Um, because a lot of people have been asking for other things. So we've gone through all the cupboards, we've found everything we can, and that is all in the end of line. Number two, okay, if you are not a member of the Bee Crafty Stamps group, then hike on over there for two reasons. One, well, many reasons actually, um, but the two I'm thinking of are Sally's Challenge for May is up and running, and it's a good one, so, you know, off your pootle. And two, if you are wanting to make, have made, you know, have plans to make, anything like that, um, any Jubilee decorations, cards, crafts whatsoever, I have put on a free doodle, free doodle art um, union flag pennant okay so you can make bunting or you can resize it now to be very very clear you are free to use this use it as in print and use it as much as you like you're not allowed to sell it you're not allowed to share it you're not allowed to pass it off as your own or anything like that if people want it then they need to join the be crafty stamps group to get it all right you're not to distribute it you can use it as much as you like but that's it okay um, but also it's a fantastic place to see Bee Crafty makes. If you're looking for inspiration for any of the stamps, the creative team have folders where they have, where they put in all their makes for specific ranges. Okay. So for example, the new scene bundle, there is a folder in there showing you all the things you can make with it. All right. Um, not to mention all the fantastic peeps that are in there, the Bee Craftiers that you can chat to. Okay. So what have I done? That's the sale. That's... The free digi, that's the challenge, the blog, get to the blog. If you like photo step-by-step -step tutorials that you can follow in your own time, the blog, the Bee Crafty blog is the place. The creative team works so hard to take step-by-step -step photos of their project so that you can follow it easily. Okay? Um... So you can do that. Can you sell the things you make with it? Absolutely. As long as you're making something with it, the free digi, you can then sell them. Okay? Same angel policy as the stamps. As long as you're not just selling the digi as it is, you're fine. All right. Um, mother, you, you totally knocked me off my train of thought. Okay, yeah, again, the sale starting Saturday, Friday, Ooh, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th, it's a good day, you know, I got married on Friday the 13th, um, and I actually still am married as well, I just thought I'd better put that in there. <laughs> um yeah uh, obviously there's the youtube channel please like and subscri subscribe please 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 um instagram if you're a fan of the gram oh, i love the gram um tiktok we need to do more on tiktok i think sam and i are silly enough that we should do more silly tiktoks and we don't we do quite serious just crafty tiktoks and we should do that um okay <laughs> and live for the rest of the week sam is in um crafting together with all brands tomorrow or crafting together as everyone loves each other as she refers to it at 2 p.m um, and i'm sure she has some wonderful loveliness planned for you because she was also uh she also took a new journal because obviously i was getting this one so sam had to have a new journal as well because she can't just let me have anything you know so sam had a new journal too which I'm sure she'll tell you all about tomorrow um, in crafting together with all brands. All I'm saying is it's a one I've already got. Um, and then she'll be back for Chit Chat Friday on Friday. So make sure you know what you want for tea. And I'm and I'll what I'll do is I'll write down all the offers so that she can tell you what they are. It's probably a good idea. And Roberts, I'm a gram fan. I love the gram. It's awesome. So I hope this has been a really good insight to the Jumpstart Journal. Like I say, if you did join later on, we did go through every single page um, so, so that you can see all the different pages that you do get the started ones. OK, so if that is something you're interested in, if you go, but if you re you're, you're rewatching or you're watching on YouTube, it is right at the beginning um, so you can see all those different pages and it's also been quite a good rundown of what you can do with the stamp and stencil tape um that we've just had in and the bee crafty stamping tissue okay i think i have waffled long enough
think I have. It's a good job I think I was working in the Jumpstart Journal today because I don't think I'd have got another page finished, one that I'd have to start right from the beginning. You know, are you okay? <laughs> no, Sammy. I'm not sure I am. Okay, have a fantastic rest of your evening. As usual, if there's anything you want to see, anything you're like, why haven't they demoed that yet? Keep at us. It worked for those that asked for the Jumpstart Journal. All right then, guys. See you later. Bye.